Liz, I'm an ecologist with Cornwall Wildlife Trust and I want to talk about tree planting and the best places to plant trees. Tree planting is something we can do for climate change and it's a great way to enhance an area for wildlife and we're really lucky in Cornwall because we've already got all these amazing and special places for wildlife and it's really important that we look after those and that can sometimes include making sure we don't plant trees in them. So what I want to do today is show you some of these habitats and explain exactly why. So for example here, we're in an area, a quite special area of unimproved grassland. It might not look that impressive at this time of year in November, but if you look down right into the vegetation, then you can see that it's incredibly diverse. There's all sorts of different types of grasses, there's some heather, some wildflowers here, lots of mosses, some sedges, and this is incredible plant diversity that brings in all the other wildlife. So in the summer, this will be absolutely buzzing with insect life. That will bring in all the birds, bats, and other small animals that feed on them. And planting trees in a habitat like this would actually really reduce its wildlife value because it would shade out all this diversity and it would actually make the site less suitable for the wildlife that makes it so special in the first place. But you can plant trees in some grasslands if you were looking at an area of more improved traditional agricultural grassland and may only have one or two species of grass, perhaps just some clovers, then planting trees would absolutely enhance it for wildlife. So I'm in an area of wetland now. Wetlands are really fantastic for wildlife. Loads of special wildflowers and plants incredibly rich for insects like dragonflies, other wildlife like frogs and newts and also of course wetlands store water which is really important for helping reduce flooding and they have saturated peaty soils that store carbon but if you plant trees in wetlands that tends to dry them out and so then those wetlands lose the ability to store carbon and they lose the ability to hold as much water and also they become less suitable as they dry out for that wetland wildlife. It's not just wildflowers that can get shaded out by planted trees. Something like these little bear pockets that you get, for example, on disused mine site or heathland like this. These are perfect little sheltered areas where a butterfly might bask for warmth or a ground nesting bee might choose to burrow. Also these bear rocks, great for the lichens and mosses that grow on them. So the message is do plant trees. It's fantastic for wildlife and for climate change. But just remember to think really carefully about planting the right tree in the right place. And for more advice, you can go to cornwallwildlifetrust.org.uk and check out our guidance for planting the right tree in the right place.